Hello everyone, long time no see. Yo know, people, it's nice to be back. <laughs> I need to just get straight into this vlog, I feel. We have some news. No, you can do it. So guys, I know I did say that this was going to feel like a complete 360. And basically we're moving today <laughs> to central Manchester, which... Who knew, guys? Who knew what this would happen? I can't actually believe the words are uh, coming out of my mouth. Not only are we moving to Manchester, but we're moving into like a dream apartment in Manchester. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big switch on. But it is Saturday the 13th of April. We are just about to head and go and get a big van. Plan of action today is not to like fully move today. I think a fully move in is gonna be tomorrow. Today we're just gonna put the sofa in there because we got we're going to pick up the keys. So pick up the keys, pop the sofa in, the rug. Um, Jacob needs to move put, um, pop the sofa in, the rug the TV, just some bits in there today, we're not going to sleep there tonight um, and then do the official move Over. tomorrow, oh this might be ours, it's from Fitmart, it's from ESN say is it for Courtney Hubbard I actually can't believe this is happening I'm having like heart palpitations and I've only had a bowl of cereal all day, it's 20 past 2 and I've 20 past 2, 20 past 1 I've had it Shit, I've just had a bowl of cereal because I felt like I was going to throw up because I was that hungry. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, mate. It's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah, quick here, send delivery. Um, Jacob's going to drive the van to the new apartment and. Huh? So what, what? What's the plan? You're going to drive the van with Jack, and I'm going to drive the car with Chloe. So plan of action is we're going picking up the car now the car the van now jacob's gonna drive the van separate to me i'm gonna f drive the car my best friend chloe's gonna come in the car with me we're gonna take a couple of the boxes cleaning products because i did want to give the place like a full hoover and mop before i move the sofa in and jacob and my brother are gonna go in the van with the sofa and a couple of the other bits my mum and dad would be helping us today, same with my nan and granddad. The plan was to actually move tomorrow. I didn't think I was getting the keys till tomorrow. And it's Grand National. And Grand National in my family, there's always something going on. Like at least somebody will hold like host a party or you know a grand national day where everyone gets drunk obviously i don't really drink so it's never really my cup of tea anyway so i'm not fussed about me um missing it but my mum and dad and my nan and granddad and a lot of the fam are there today so they're not on hand to help which is why we're going to do the bulk of the move tomorrow today move the sofa in move the rug coffee table um, and all that jazz. I'll show you everything later on. I'm gonna give you an empty apartment tour in this video and then potentially the next vlog's gonna be like a full official move-in vlog. I think that's what I'm gonna do anyways. But yeah, can you even cope, babe, with this situation right now? I'm so hey. sorry that I'm so shaky, but the roads near my house, oh. old house, are literally full of potholes is a nightmare. I don't know about any of you, but this whole moving out situation, um, although I'm so excited and I'm really excited that it's just gonna be me, Jacob and the dogs, I was so upset. I'll, leave, I'll put a video on the screen of the night that I found out we got accepted on the apartment and I told my mum and dad. Um, I don't know whether it was the fact that we were deciding to rent in my family my mum and dad bought a house young my nan and granddad bought a house young and then all of my friends are in the process of buying houses at the minute so it just felt like renting was possibly the wrong decision and the fact that i'd like committed to it and it had been accepted that really upset me but just the fact that i'm moving away from home i think i would have been the same even if i bought a house wouldn't i yeah but i was i cried myself to sleep that night because the thought of leaving my mum and dad i'm obviously fine about it now but that night the thought of leaving like my mum and dad and potentially never going back to my childhood home and never living with my mum and dad again it just felt like oh my gosh Courtney, you're an adult now and i was really upset um you were absolutely fine weren't you 
He's Jacob. For anyone who doesn't know, Jacob's oh. lived at my family home with my mum and dad for how many years? A few, not two, three. Something. No, longer than that. Three. Nah, because we're five, so probably three. Six in summer. Well, three and a half then. I reckon, yeah, three and a half, maybe closer to the four mark. And everyone's always, always said, was that strange? Or did, was that like funny at all? You were absolutely fine living at mine, weren't you? Because it was just it, yeah, what we had to do in that in that time, and it was yeah. to buy, so we had really. If it wanted to be to go, we had no really been, been other choice did so. Yeah, and Jacob really gets on with all of my family, including my mum and dad. Um, sure. They prefer probably him over me, to be honest. So it's not been an issue at all, and I don't mind living at home. It was just. I feel like I needed I needed to do this in order to take the next step. Like I felt I don't we know. We find a time, but we're just more than ready to move out in it and have our have space. Our own like, space. Our, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of stuff. We've got dogs. Like it just it's, we take up a lot of room in it, and it's, you, you end up being on top of each other. You'll see in the next vlog when we move. Well, when we do the official moving vlog, how much stuff we actually have, and it's insane to think that all of that stuff fit into one bedroom <laughs> but anyways guys that is a bit of an update from me I'm really excited to announce this this has been going on in the background for about six weeks i think we got accepted on the apartment six weeks ago so it's been all coming up i've been obviously trying to sort out furniture pack up um get everything sorted and we had two weeks in thailand so i have been completely mia in all social so one i'm excited just to get in there but two i'm really excited for this like transition period to be over and just get back to work start vlogging again so yeah that is um a bit of an update from me just quickly guys as well i hey, wanted to look i wanted to look a bit cuter moving into the new apartment like it's a big thing my roots are in desperate need of being done i love the red hair but one it fades very fast so right now it even needs a touch up or a toner and not only that because i've got like brown hair when they come through the because of the warmth of the red it makes my roots look gray so like i've got a silver root line coming in which is obviously not ideal um my nails i have fully grown out obviously these are the ones i got done for thailand my eyebrows need doing my i actually got brown lashes for thailand i don't know if i ended up showing you them but i ended up getting um brown lash extensions and i absolutely loved having them on it just made it so much easier and i was really not a fan of towards the end of me having lash extensions the last time i used to get them infilled all the time um i was getting them black and they really didn't suit me guys my brown brown eyebrows have black bold lashes just wasn't a vibe um so the brown lashes made such a difference and they looked really really natural so when i've got time i'm gonna book in again and get the brown lashes so i need a bit of a glow up um so that is why i don't like this just quickly as well i'm wearing the new foundations on our active collection we have all new lounge so i've got the straight leg joggers on in plum brown and then this is the new mellow soft it's so sugar sorry so so nice i don't know if you can see it's a ribbed material it drops on tuesday hopefully this video will be up by then um so you can shop all of the bits but there is this color plum brown um mushroom which is like a really nice neutral color you know i love a good neutral um oil blue is it oil blue yeah oil blue and then black um and then also dropping is some effortless um what else a good bunch of bras i'll be doing a full breakdown on my instagram so i'm sure you will have seen but i am obsessed with absolutely everything in my in the collection i feel really bad i've just not managed to you know film try on hauls or anything like that just because life has been so hectic since i got back from thailand it's just been packing every day i've not been i went to the gym once this week which i felt good about um and it happened to just be the day before my period i came on early this week i've seen it everywhere but everyone i know has come on early this week and i'm not sure if it's the solar eclipse guys 
I'm not sure, but a lot of people are saying it is. And another thing, so I came on early, a couple days early, and not only that, my period is so heavy. So something's changed, and my periods are usually very, very on the money regular. I use the app Flow. Um, I put it on my Instagram whilst I was away because I put up a story on being like, does anyone else have seriously bad PMS as soon as they hit day 10 be before the period? Um, and girls went crazy being like, what app is this? So I said, and then I told you all that I loved it and that is like my form of contraception. I just basically figure out when I'm ovulating, which the app tells me when, and use other measures of not getting pregnant and... It's worked for me this far. I've not been on contraception now for over two years, maybe like two and a half years. I just, it just didn't sit well with me. Anyways, that's it from me. Period's very, very heavy. She's ready now. So now it's time to head home, fill up the car and the van, and then we're gonna head there and collect the keys. <gasps> we're in, guys. So I'm gonna be really quick. Go out and open the door. Can I get back in though? <laughs> We're in. Um, I'm going to be really quick because we've had to park quite a while late and we need to get unloaded in the vans and everything. But let's just do a quick apartment tour. So I'm at the front door now. To my left is the master bedroom, which will be mine and Jacob's bedroom. So I have, let's go do the wardrobes first. So I have these floor to ceiling wardrobes so this is going to be where i keep all of my honor stuff um which will be ideal i'm going to add i think another rail in here actually just so i've got more space because otherwise i'm going to have like this is kind of wasted space isn't it babe mm -hmm. yeah so i am going to put another rail in um and then this is the actual bedroom space I don't know whether I'm going to put the bed here or here. I think I'm supposed to put it here because you can see the plug sockets on either side as if it wants me to do it like that. And then behind Jacob is the ensuite, which is absolutely massive. Do you need to turn, do you need to alter the brightness? No. No. Yeah, there you go. I won't show, the, show you the view yet because I'll show you the balcony last. But this is the ensuite. I think this is actually the biggest bathroom. No? Yeah, definitely more bathroom. Um, I love the fact that it's got double sinks. Perfect for us. And a bath and a shower. Radiator, toilet. I actually can't believe this is real life. <laughs> it's really crazy. Anyways, that's bedroom number one. All the rooms as well have something i don't we're not really sure what's going on yet to be honest the estate agents something. haven't really like give us a full rundown of the place i just had to figure out how to turn the electric on and um, they didn't tell me how to do that so that was an ideal but that is the main bedroom i think this is the intercom um so when people come in they can do something yeah, they can buzz in from the bottom and then you can... Maybe that'll say what apartment we're in. So let's not do that. This is the second bedroom. Again, we have floor to ceiling wardrobes here. This is actually a really big wardrobe. Um, again, I'm going to get my granddad to put another rail in just because it makes sense. Um, to the right, this is the bedroom space. Bed will go here. Right of Jacob, we have this weird cupboard there's not even any light in here i think we're going to use this as like a shoe cupboard did we storage, say storage yeah for what yeah some sort of storage will go in there and then oh, it's not showing properly and then we have another another one sweet smells a bit funky in here first time it's probably just the drains going through <laughs> Doesn't it smell funky in there? That place that's got a toilet there might just be a filler in here. Yeah, it's a bit stinky, guys. Um, and that's that one suite. 
Tony. Back at the front of the door here. No. It's okay, this is the hallway. Chloe and my brother are down there. This is the main bathroom. I'm really going to speak to the landlord about switching the bulbs because if you can see, they're not white bulbs and that really, really, really irritates me. They're yellow bulbs. So I am going to try and switch the bulbs out. Um, and then this is just like the main bathroom which guests will use bath, shower, toilet. All of the bathrooms have really, really good storage. Look at that. For skincare. It's perfect, For skincare, guys. <laughs> what an amazing, amazing, amazing landlord. And then this is the third and final um, bedroom. I think I'll use this for an office slash workspace, to be honest. Um, and again, we've got the floor to ceiling wardrobes, mm -hmm. which is great. To be honest, the thing that like I really like about this apartment, other than the fact that it's really nice, obviously, is the storage, because it's just fat. Okay, and now we're into the main living space. I'll start with the boring bit. This is my like utility washroom. I actually think this is so large. I'm gonna put a shoe rack in here for when guests come over, um, and then I'll have like my laundry stuff in here as well. And then this is the main living space, guys. <laughs> Let me just turn it down a bit. Okay, this is the main living space. So, sofa's gonna go here, you'll see it on the next one, but sofa is gonna go here, TV there, kitchen, um, it's, everything's brand new by the way, nobody's ever lived here before. Uh, so all the ovens are new, I have no clue how to use anything. Um, Fridge has never had anything in it, so everything's brand new. So the plan of action right now is to start unloading the vans. I think me and Chloe are going to give it like a bit of a clean because obviously it's unlived in, so it's not exactly unclean. But I just want to give the floors a bit of a vac mop before we get in the rug and the sofa in. Last thing to kind of show you is the balcony, which I'll leave for the next vlog. What? Yeah, you can give them a little pan. So you can get onto the balcony here, and essentially it wraps the whole way around the apartment. Um, yeah, it wraps around the whole balcony, and then we have a full view of Manchester. Did I even Stay over there. You look tiny. <laughs> yeah, so that's the current stitch. I'm so, so, so happy are you? Mm. Let me spin it around to you. It's a little bit crazy. I feel like I'm kind of just in a bit of a fever dream right now, but stay tuned for the next vlog, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Um, and it goes without saying, but without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. This is an absolute dream. Like, I could have never ever have anticipated one that i wouldn't be buying a house this year i'd be renting but two i would be purchasing our dream apartment not purchasing renting our dream apartment so i'm just excited for this next chapter and um, so yeah stay tuned i will see you on the next vlog if you did like today's video please 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 like and subscribe down below and i will see you all next time Mwah.